Here we are back in the kingdom of Splatalot. I'm Jason Agnew, this is Matt Chin, and we're just about to start round two. Yes, Jay, it's time to escape the stockade. Well, not me personally. That task will actually fall to our top six attackers. Patrick, Christopher, Craig, Stephen, Graham, and Megan. But exactly what will happen down in the stockade, you may be asking yourself. To answer, let's take a closer look. On opposite sides of the stockade are ladder frames and rungs. Attackers will need to grab the rungs, make it over the wheel of certain doom, and fill their ladders. But not all rungs fit. At which point they can grab one of four flags and make their way to freedom in round three. Don't forget the defenders. Let's see who the attackers are up against. We start off with the brazen huntress, Ballista. I think I'm in love. <laughs> then it's the devastating Tinkor. <laughs> And finally, the Noble Annihilator, Nitrous. Attackers! Let's see if you have what it takes. To escape the stockade! <laughs> Both sides are looking strong. Let's match up the helmet colors. We've got Graham in the orange helmet, Megan in pink, Craig in the light green, Steven in the dark green, Patrick in the blue, and Christopher in the purple. Spin them up and dizzy-fy them. Nitrous is ready on the froth brother. Here comes the foam. Take it, Megan. Tinker going for a snack and Ballista, giving it a kiss. Lucky. And there's the horn. Some attackers are struggling to get loose from the wheel. They should just give up. Christopher has a rung, while Steven and Graham get rung by the annihilating arm. Take off! Lovely and fluffy today! Oh, <laughs> thank you, Nightmare. From tension in the first round to a love fest here in the stockade, what a shift with these new defenders. I know, don't you miss the tension? Steven climbs up and gets knocked back down. Ballista unloads with the goo grenade, but misses the mark. Love is blind. Down goes Craig. That foam is thick today. Check out this surprise appearance from Santa. Oh, oh, oh. I want a flag for Christmas, Santa. Christopher now is trying to take down the annihilating arm single-handedly. No dice. Steven is up, but the arms are having none of that. Rejected. I can't say it enough. That is not water. The arms are on fire. Wait, I just gave myself an idea. Ah, there's too much foam. It'll never catch flame. Yo -ho, yo -ho. Oh, and Tinkor offers up some yellow surprise from his slime stick. Tink, tink, tink. <laughs> oh, you're thirsty? How about some water? Seriously, people, not water. You're welcome. Over to the Tinkor cam as he unleashes a bucket of slime on Graham. He's having the slime of his life. Tinkor, that is. Nitrous is taking aim. And as her slime hits, so does the annihilating arms, knocking both Chris and Steven to the bottom of the wheel. Perfect shot. Megan is staggering her way over. She has flags in her sights. But there's a traffic jam up top. Total clear out. I said total. Look at that foamy splatapalooza. All in and all out. Craig is trying to concentrate, but Graham breaks that up. Patrick looking determined. And Craig dodges an arm. And as Graham and Craig both reach for the flags, they get tangled up. Tangled up? Graham stole that flag from Craig. I kicked them both out for fighting, if it wasn't so much fun to watch. Check it out. Graham pulls a dirty move and then steals the flag. Check the rules, pal. I'm gonna call it an accident as Graham races for his ladder. He's up and on his way. While the other five continue to be knocked around. Graham is moving on as Craig grabs the second flag. So much easier without someone tackling you. True enough, he spun around but is now heading to his ladder. Down goes Christopher. Megan working on the third flag. Where are the defenders? Someone should stop this. There's Tinkor, but I think it's a little too late. The escape is on. Megan joins in with the third flag. Only one left with the attackers fighting for it. There's Patrick sitting pretty, and yes, he has the fourth flag. As he makes his way to the top, we have our four escapees. Thanks for coming out, Steven and Chris. We will no longer require your services. What a round. I'm sorry to say it, but the defenders just disappeared. Sour grapes for my partner. Regardless, we will now have Patrick, Craig, Graham, and Megan going on to capture the crown. Those four just got lucky. I think the defenders were simply outmatched. Whatever. All of which sets up what's sure to be a very interesting finale. Because when we return, it will be those four attackers against six defenders right here on Splatalot.
Welcome back to Splatalot, and this, the final round. I'm Jason Agnew, this is Matt Chin. It's been a roller coaster ride today, and I can't wait to see what happens as our final four attackers now attempt to capture the crown. Patrick, Craig, Graham, and Megan. And here's our six defenders. Ballista, Tinkor, Nitrous, Kookaburra, Thorn, and Skat. And here's the course. It starts as the attackers slide down to the funky foam. And then it's on to the titanic teeter-totters, on to the bouncy boys. Finally, it's up the water wall where the crown of Splat a lot is waiting. Well, I'm no crown and I'm tired of waiting, so let's start. Splat! Splat! Huh? Splat! Oh, splat! Wow, that is one sad chant. It's like they forgot the words. The defenders are charged up and the attackers look focused. With Graham and Orange, Megan and Pink, Craig and Green, and Patrick and Blue. Mercifully, there's the horn as the attackers slide down to the funky foam. Ballista with the miss, Scab with the miss too. Craig's having trouble losing that foam. Everyone looks to be up. Here's Graham crawling in the near lane. There's Megan losing her balance and splat. It sets off a chain reaction. I love it. This isn't preschool. This is splat a lot. Thorn is laying down the law. And Graham and Patrick laying down the splat. Tinkor with the slime stick. Watch this accuracy. Megan with the slime and the splat. Scab is cranking up the audio. Speaking of audio, listen to this. Oh! Good stuff, my chaps! <laughs> Thorn is really honing in on Patrick. Scab two, mission accomplished. Not so fast. It looks like Patrick is making a move to the barrier of all barriers. As Nitrous fires up the vaporizers. Still, Patrick is over the barrier and the water wall has started up. We're getting down to it. Patrick steadies himself and here comes Craig. Patrick gets steamed up on the bouncy boys as Craig makes the big leap. Time for the defenders to focus. Time for Megan to call it a day. Then again, what a splat. It's the battle of the boys out there as Craig and Patrick engage in a real showdown. With Nitrous, Thorn, Kook, and now Ballista doing everything they can to shut them down. Yes, I'm on fire! Kook's taking aim with the splat bow. It's getting nasty out there. All six defenders gang up as we now see Scab showering them with the water cannon and Tinkor jumps in with the slime stick. Back on the other side of the barrier. It's a synchro splat. What a thing of beauty. You just can't rehearse this. I'm telling you, when Scab yells, attackers jump higher. As you watch this leap again, imagine Scab is right there yelling in his ear. Wait, is Megan gonna make this a three attacker race? Nope. Patrick is working his way to the base of the water wall as Craig is moving closer. Patrick now standing up and ready to climb. Whoa, but Craig is not done. He came leaping on the screen out of nowhere. Patrick is starting to climb, but Craig is right in his heels. It's anybody's race. I think Craig needs to cheat now. It is too late. Patrick is at the top. He has the crown. He is the new king of Splatalot. Nice taunting, Patrick. I'm sure Craig feels great about himself. So close, but there can only be one king. <laughs> Tinkor is down. Are you happy, Patrick? Tinkor. Your taunting killed Tinkor. Oh my, um, I'm going in. <laughs> That was all a gag. Tinkor's fine. This guy. <laughs> and now Patrick is sharing the glory with Craig. What a ruler. And what a day here at the castle. A neck and neck finish. Kook almost necks with Tinkor, and around this neck of the woods, we call that a success. Let's get to the splat of the day. All right, this should come as no surprise. Christopher goes down the impossible incline, reaches for a battle axe, flips and splats on the other side, and slides into the water. Hands down, the splat of the day. I just love it. And now it's time to take a look back at our new King Patrick's journey to the crown. And in the end, he does, mastering the moat, doing what needed to be done by grabbing the rungs and escaping the stockade. Sucking it up by taking the slime, taking the hits, making the leaps, and taunting poor Craig. Like you wouldn't have done the same thing. Oh, I'm all about the taunts. We're all out of time. This is Jason Agnew. That is Matt Chin saying so long. I am the king of the castle! And you made Craig cry. <laughs>